So now that we have uh, already set up our Selenium project, I am going to take you through some of the basic Selenium commands, WebDriver commands, right? So we'll be picking up these 10 commands and I'll show you uh, what they do actually after we execute these commands. So we are going to pick up a real application and uh, execute these commands using our project, right? So let's get going. So this is our project. Uh, I'm just going to create a sample Java class. So executable class where we can execute these commands, right? So I'm not uh, creating any frameworks right now. So we'll do that later. It's just that I want to show you how these commands work, right? So check commands and let me make it executable by adding a main main method. Then, um, so now this is an executable class. Now we need to do some setup before we try executing that command. So we require a driver object, right? Or for our web driver. So we need to first set up a property for web driver, right? Where it will get the path of the executable. So we're going to set up that path first. Chrome. So we are going to use the Chrome driver and the browser. And then we need to set the path here, okay? So my path is C drivers, Chrome driver dot exe. Now you can check your own path where you have downloaded this Chrome driver dot exe and set it accordingly, right? Now we are going to create an object for web driver. So webdriver driver equals to new Chrome driver. So this will create a new instance of Chrome driver and open up a browser instance, right? Now we can execute our command. So our first command is the get command, right? So you can type driver dot, now if you type driver dot, right? It will show you all the methods which are, which are available in the web driver class, right? So what does this get do does, right? So it accepts a string parameter, which can be a string URL, right? And what it does is it opens up that web application uh, or the URL which you have mentioned. So it launches that uh, URL in your browser. That's what the function of get command is. Now, as I said, uh, we'll be using a real demo application for this video. So I'll be using this application. Um, it's a demo banking application, which has got some functions of a real bank application. Uh, so I'll be using this throughout my, uh, throughout this course. And uh, we'll try to use some other applications as well, but majorly we'll be using this, right? So this is the application and this is the URL. So I'll be putting that URL here. So that, that is our driver.get command, right? Now I'm going to execute this command and we'll see if it opens up that particular URL. Okay, so the Chrome driver was started successfully and it is launching the web page now. Okay, so all good. So that's what get does, driver.get does. Now the next command is navigate.2, sorry. So let's do that. Now, it accepts a URL as well as a string. So we can use the same URL here also, right? Now, these two commands, they do almost the same thing, right? But there are some fundamental differences between the two commands. The first difference is uh, the get command, it will actually wait for the page to load whenever it launches, right? 
so it, it will wait till the complete page loads all the elements are loaded in that page but navigator 2 will not wait for the page to load it will just navigate to the page and it will move on right so then the next difference is uh, navigate it maintains cookies and history but get it doesn't maintain that so in navigate you can go back and forth uh, in your web page but uh, you cannot do that with get right so these are some of the fundamental differences otherwise uh, it almost does the same thing as i said right so let's try this command So as you can see, uh, it is also launching the same URL. So uh, as you can see, both are doing the same things, but uh, there's a difference when you want to use this, right? So I would recommend you to use driver.get whenever you are launching a new URL because you want the web driver to wait for the page to load rather than go navigating directly to that page and uh, that will create some problems in your scripts, right? So navigate command you can use uh, once you are in the web page right and you want to move to some other page like sign up page in this particular application you can use navigate too right so okay well, we can look at that actually so if i go to this sign up page right and i use that url sign up so I can use driver.get for going to the home page, right? And then navigate to this child page, which is the sign up page. So this is a kind of a good scenario to work on for these two commands, right? Now the next command is navigate.forward, right? And navigate.back. So we are going to see both these commands. So first I will use the navigate back command so that I can go back to the login page and then I will use the navigate dot forward command so that I again move forward to the sign up page. So these are pretty simple uh, and self explanatory, right? So let's execute these commands. So as you can see, it is going to the login page, uh, then it will go to the sign up page, and then it will go back to the login page, and it will again move forward to the sign up page. So this is how you can move back and forth using the navigate commands, right? So pretty simple. Now, the next command is our refresh command. So let's... Uh, and that's also pretty simple, right? As you can guess, it will re refresh the current page, right? So let me just do a refresh for the home page. So not sure if you noticed, but the page got refreshed, right? And that completes our test. So our next command is the get title. Now this is a kind of a useful command whenever you are automating any application, right? You would like to verify the title of the page you are landing on, right? So you can store uh, that in a string parameter, string variable, right? So you can use driver dot get title, and it will return you the title in the form of string, right? And then we can easily print that to verify, or you can use the assertion in the real time automation. You can use uh, assert statement, right? 
So we'll print the URL and let me quickly show you by executing this command. Okay, so the title is digital bank for the page, right? So it is displaying here. Okay, sorry, um, I should use title here. Just a variable name, you can use anything, but for the sake of it, right? Because uh, our next command is getting the URL. So get current URL. So I'm going to use that variable right now. So string URL driver dot get current URL and again we'll be using that system dot out to print it out so let's check it out quickly Okay, so this is the title and this is the URL of the page, current page, right? So looks pretty simple, these commands. Uh, these are only the basic commands in Selenium. The next is the page source, right? So this is for, this is used for printing or getting the source code of any page. So source driver dot get page source and we'll print that. So let's quickly verify this. So if I expand the uh, console window, you will see the complete source code is printed on our console, right? So this is the HTML source code for this application. Now this could be useful if you want to verify uh, something on the source code, right? So our next command is close and quit, right? So we are going to look at both these commands. Now, these two um, almost do the same operation, but there are there is a little difference, right? So let's first look at um, close. So the driver dot close it will close the current page, which is opened by the web driver instance or the browser instance, right? So it will close the current page and quit so quit will close the current page and it will also destroy the driver instance but close will not do that it will only close the current page and quit will actually destroy the driver instance right so i would advise you to use driver.quit uh, whenever you are whenever you want to do a tear down of your uh, tests right you should you you should use driver.quit so that that complete uh, driver uh, instance is destroyed and cannot be used in other any other scripts so which might create some problems right so let's quickly verify these two commands now So now you can see it will uh, close this current page, right? Now I'm going to comment this close and I'm going to use quit. So you'll not see a lot of difference here, but uh, in the real world scenario, when you open several tabs, um, 
then you will see the difference between close and quit. So quit will actually close all your um, tabs, browser tabs, but close will only uh, close the current page, right? So it is going to shut down the web driver instance. As you can see, it's completed, right? So these are the basic commands which I wanted to show you in this particular uh, section. So in my next section, uh, we are going to take a look at some of the more commands, right? Which you can use for different operations while automating your application.